on my way with some goodies in the back to the spot. This is our warehouse. That's where we've got offices, studio coming online. Uh, I'm anxious for you guys to see it. We're anxious to see it get fleshed out and get settled in there. Um, and what's crazy is we're actually right by the airport here in town. Um, but of course, near an airport, you cannot fly uh, your airplanes. However, we can fly our trucks right out the back door and it is no problem whatsoever. So we are going to be doing a lot of that from there. And uh, I'll show you the drive in here in a minute. And then we're going to crack into these brand new Armas. Give them a quick blast. We're going to also show you how to um, calibrate the throttle on these, which is one of those things that I, I never do actually right away. I'm always so uh, pumped up just to get running on these trucks. So we're definitely going to do it this time and uh, we'll show you how we do it. And then we're going to give them a blast. Cannot wait. See you soon. I've got Bobby K signed up. Bobby K, I've turned them to the dark side. Not only are these Armas, but they're Bobby's Armas. He's been driving the Arma 3S Sentin and he's hooked. Holy smoke. Check it Holy out. Smokes. So we've got Bobby's Mojave 6S Arma. Oh yeah. And then the Arma Big Rock 3S, which is like, it's like a 4S Creighton, but it's a 3S Big Rock. And uh, we'll put links to where you get these in the description, but which one are you going to open first? Man, should I save the best for last or do the best first? Ha, uh, I don't know, man. I would, yeah, do the, do the little one first. Do the Big Rock. All right, cool. Dude, I'm going to move the uh, Mojave off of here and i ordered a big new low c yes this is what's happening in the studio today our rc life with bobby k you gotta cut that yeah always a seal on the back it's flip it over upside down we want the satisfaction of breaking the factory seal on camera, but Bobby doesn't want to do it. It's too late now, Holmes. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Academy Award goes to. Oh, look at that, man. That's awesome. Hey, peel that cellophane all slow. Not RC spark slow, just like kind of <laughs> slow. Dude, this thing looks epic. I love the flat black Cadillac of it all. Dude. So this is the long wheelbase like the 4S Creighton has, but it's truck. It should be good to come out. Oh, man. Look at that, dude. That's awesome. That's sweet. Nice squishy tires. I know. So it's... I'm so excited, actually. This is the one armor I have not had yet. So, dude, it's just like the 4S Creighton. It is. And so are the arms. That means I've already got spare parts for you. What's different is these bumpers are new. They're version 3 style. But you... Ah, right? And, that, nice. and it's also the big rock. So, oh, nice. a lot of these are going to have this. And then it, what's different is this hinges in. And you can change it. So, that's a different piece. It's probably braced to the bulkhead that's back there. That's cool. And then let's see the back bumper wheelie bar stuff. Kind of RPM-ish. Uh, looks super beefcake, Bobby. Oh, this man. is going to be sick. So what's oh, awesome, wow. we're running these on 3S. It looks like it's an IC5 connection, Bobby K. Yep. And we're going to get some batteries in the transmitter. Look at the manual real quick and show everybody how to do a I throttle see. calibration. And you know what, too, depending on your batteries, you can unscrew this and get it out or, and this. Ah. So if your packs are too long, you can just unscrew this yeah, from the bottom. Bad boy, huh? and yeah, I've done a bunch of these at this point. Unscrew this from the bottom, unscrew that from the bottom, and you can fit big, long packs in there. 3S, 
IC5, smart packs are the way to go. Let's see what radio they sent you with. Man, don't just Flat black blast. Cadillac, don't just bash, blast. And we're gonna do it real soon, dude. He can't wait. We've been oh, driving man. inside the studio while we're waiting on product to come. We still have an empty space. <laughs> He's been short coursing it back here. We got planes all over the place. We're just getting moved in. But instead of moving in, we're just like playing mostly. Can't so it, the, the suspension is so man, cush. That's cool. it's, it's got like a, the bumper right here is like has an absorber, yeah, you know? Where this it ties is new. In. They cool. didn't used to be like this. And so these are much yeah, improved awesome. over the earlier Armas that I started on. Yeah. The tires are vented already. Yeah. There's the hole, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. You gotta make sure um, there's not a hole on the inside. These tires are boss. Yeah, they're cool, man. I can't wait to rip these. Oh, my goodness. Let's crank into the radio. Let's see what All you right. got. And um, we'll get it. Uh, we'll steal batteries from something else. We'll get into the manual in a minute because I want to show everybody how to calibrate uh, the ESC because I'll tell you why. Yeah, teach when, me too. I'll teach you. So when you don't calibrate, okay, yeah, these are nicer than what it was. The SLT3, um, guys is easy to work with and we'll show you the throttle calibration in just a few yeah, we're going to steal some double a batteries that we have in our other trucks um for this radio i stopped to get some on the way and they were out they didn't have them uh, so we're going to steal them from something that i need to fix that's nice. and then if you don't calibrate the throttle what happens is when you go for that correction in the air with throttle or brake it seems like there's a lag uh, like a delay and it, most of the time is somebody just got so excited they just went for a blast right away and they didn't do the throttle calibration. So we're going to do that. It will happen. So you have the throttle on demand and the good brake, and you can even turn it up to 11, so to say. A lot of times you can crank the punch, but we're going to leave that alone. All we're going to do is throttle calibration and then give this a blast back here. This seems cool. Awesome. <laughs> Holy smokes. Hey, and I'm not sure if if he knows this yet, but I'm totally driving this thing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be with you uh, and run it. Actually, as soon as we calibrate this thing, we're going to go off camera for just a minute. We're going to calibrate the throttle. And when we calibrate the throttle, we're going to be smart and get the wheels off the deck. Because if we screw it up, we don't want it running into all these airplanes and stuff. So you got a little adapter. Do me a favor, dig out the manual. And then when we find that page, we're gonna put, we'll, we'll get a put a big shot of that graphic we're looking at. So now we're gonna follow along the manual. You guys can follow along as well. So it's a little bit different than when you're running regular. And, and guys that fly airplanes with us know that this is a little bit similar to how you, in a way, bind your aircraft, but we're not doing that. That's already been done. We're just telling the radio and the car, we're, we're making this connection where they know where the endpoints are and there's no crazy delay and stuff. What's gonna happen is you plug in the battery first, and then when you turn on the transmitter, you turn on the transmitter next, which is gonna be Sorry. Not there at all. This is how you turn on the transmitter right here. It's on and you know it because you get a light here. And then you're going to press this little tiny button right here as you flip this switch on until you get these red flashes. Transmitter in neutral, press the set button, one green flash. Transmitter full throttle, press the set button, you're going to get two green flashes. And then you're going to go full brake, press the set button, you get three full flashes. After that, you turn off the ESC. Okay, so radio transmitter is on, red light. First part is this, you hold the little tiny button down and you turn on the radio. We got the red button flashing. So now I should be able to press this little button once and that'll set the neutral. Okay, full throttle, press it again, two. And then full brake, there it is. 
It was that simple. Oh, that's real easy. You Always see that? Yeah. Throttle has been calibrated, and then it says you turn it all off to set it, and that's what I do Bada -boom -bada. every time. Like I'm paranoid. I may do more than I need to, but like I'm turning everything off. So now it's time to run it. So you now you're back to regular procedure. So you're just going to turn the radio on first, like you always do. Okay, radio's on. Battery's plugged in. Of course, you strap it down because you're gonna bash your face off and it's awesome and it's lovely and you don't want your stuff coming unplugged when you land um, from 20 feet up, right? <laughs> and then, so turn this on and that's it, you're done. So there's trims on the radio, which we can mess with out, outside. There's like steering rate, steering trim, um, Everything you need, guys, is right here. And we even have the speed. So 50, 75, 100, you can slow it down. But we're going for 100. But I already can see there's a little bit of trim we can do. Oh, guys, it's time to run it. It's time to run it. It's time to run it. Let me back the shot up. <laughs> All right, Bobby K, that's it. It's that easy to calibrate the throttle. We're good to go. Let's do it. Dude, put the lid on it. Let's do this thing. Out in the warehouse. Let's run it. First run. Bobby K's first arm up brand new. Um, this is this is gonna be epic. Here we go.